guys, it's Tang. We're back with another video, and today, the video's gonna come out a little bit late today. It's gonna come out around, like, 10 o'clock or something like that. And so, yeah, let's get this video started. Today, I wanna talk to you guys about, um, the top five things I love about the Candy Barbarian. The top five things I, like, like, are crucial about the Candy Barbarian that you guys need to know. And I'm gonna tell you guys. So, number one, the first thing that I really like about the Candy Barbarian. Let me close my window, because it's, like, really loud right now. There you go. Um, the first thing that I like is the sustainability of this um, class. It allows you to like I don't know stay in stay in battle for longer, I guess. But yeah, like it's really hard to die on the Candy, candy Barbarian. Like I told you guys in the last the Candy Barbarian review, I rarely die with this guy. I only die when I either AFK like in the dungeon arena or like when I run out of pots. So. That, those are the only um, things when I die, but it's like actually really hard to die. As you know, with the Candy Barbarian, all of his um, moves actually heal him. Like his um, his slash thing, mouse button too, the whirlwind thing, it heals him, and the the drop thing heals him too. And I'm not sure what the, the the second ability does, but yeah, only the two abilities heal him, so it's pretty hard to die. I think it also heals your teammates too, or like your um your allies too. So yeah, that's, a, that's something good about the um, Candy Barbarian. Um, that's number one. And then number two is like, I don't know, I just found this off the internet. But <laughs> I guess the items from the knight can be used for this. Because the knight is pretty much um, a tank. You don't build any damage. You just soak, you're, you're purely there to soak up all the damage that your team can't take. So I guess your items can be used for that if you're a knight and you want to transfer over to Candy Barbarian. Looks like you can because... All you need to do is just get like um, an AD sword. Have you ever bought any Troves of Wonder? I don't know what that is. Uh, no. Aha. Uh -huh. But yeah, that's that's the second thing that's good about the Candy Barbarian that you can use your items from the night. Um, the third thing is long melee range, like. Usually, melee ranges are, are really, really short distance, like, I'm going to say Neon Ninja, but look, look how far away I am, and I'm hitting it. Well, not that far, but it has somewhat of decent range, so you don't get hit. So you can basically kite around, use your potion, and just kite around, you know, simple. Just kite Arino, and then you'll, you'll, you'll kill him. But yeah, it's mostly, you. it's like the, the long-ish melee range is used good for in like those um shadowed arenas and stuff like that because you can just cut around use one um one uh potion and then you're good to go and right now i'm just farming for um the chaos chest right now so yeah or you know, the shadow chest i mean just so i can have some things and try to get some awesome shadow stuff for you guys for myself actually but yeah that's the fourth thing, I think. Yep, that's the fourth thing. Or no, this is that was the third thing. Oh my god, I'm getting my words mixed up. This is the morning time, so forgive me. Um, and then the fourth thing is it. A Candy Barbarian has the highest um, stats when leveling up. Like every single time you level up, you get the most stats. Like Candy Barbarian holds the most stats. For when leveling up, um, if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. But I'm pretty sure it does. Like every single level, you gain a lot of um, a lot of attack damage and health, along with um, some energy, some more energy regeneration. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it has the highest um, uh, leveling up stats rate. I guess you could say. And that's also good because um, you know some people who want to do a lot of damage in the beginning and not die. Candy Barbarian is the right one for you, and some people who saying that um, Candy Barbarian aren't that strong, it really depends on what you build on, so hopefully that answers your question. And the last one, I just made up on my own just to make a 5, because I could only find 4 reasons for um, the Candy Barbarian, but Candy Barbarian is usually YOLO, you don't give a, you don't give a crap about when, when you're going to go in or not, or something like that. You can just go in without worrying about dying and stuff like that, because if you if you're like me and you have 11 potions and you have a 30k um, 36k barbarian health 
Barbarian, you don't really care about dying. Like, I mean, you can just go in and just use one health pot and you're at full health again. Because these Elijah Jugs heal you to 100% health. So, yeah. And that should conclude the video, guys. Um, hopefully, these tips helps you out on knowing your Canyon Barbarian a little bit better. If you guys are playing Canyon Barbarian. And hopefully, this inspired you guys to play Canyon Barbarian. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Because I will respond to every single comment. There is, and there's going to be a, there's going to be, <laughs> there is a giveaway video going on right now. It's going to end tomorrow. This video is going to come out on Saturday. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And, yeah. Because I will respond to every single comment there is. And we're so close to 500 subscribers. We only need like 11 more people, guys. 11 more people to the big 500. So, thank you guys for watching once again. And peace out. Jump is the main reason why I got this, as along with the 1k physical damage. So, got this.